Yeah, we're making a video. A make video? We're making a video. Yes. Ready? Say hi everyone. Hi. hi guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. If this is the first time. Today, um, I want to make a tellurium. Not a closed, closed one. Uh, my neighbor plant friend gave me this fern. It's called the frost fern. And I check for the care and it requires about 75%, 70, 70, like 70 to 80%, is it? Of humidity. And my house is around like 45 to 50, so not even close to that. So I want to put them in a tellurium to, for the fern to thrive. So they can have more humidity in there. So. I made a closed tellurium video three months ago, but it's the same thing. It's just not closed. So we'll need what we need. We need activated charcoal. You can get it at the pet store. Um, most of the box, it will say activated carbon. It's the same thing. Acti activated carbon and activated charcoal is the same thing. So you can get that. Yeah, these are for fishes, right? But you can use it for um, the tellurium. So these are going to filter the water that's gonna uh, get stuck in the bottom of the jar. And you also need a jar. I found this at the thrift store for $1.99. And then some pebbles or rocks. I'll use white one. And soils, of course. So. Let's start. I like getting this kind of um, activated charcoal because you can also use the um, the bag. It's a mesh bag, so you can use this to do the. Um, you put oil. I know. I'll dump it. You could also use it for to and lie it on top the of the oil. rocks. Okay, mommy need a little bowl for this. Let's go get it. I want to use this so I don't really want to cut it. Are you coming back up here? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we go. So, should have done this before, but it's okay. Have you guys done your Christmas shopping? I did mine on last Saturday. It was crazy. I went to the toy house. I dump it, dump it. I will dump it. I went to the toy warehouse store. That's the what you call it. It's like a wholesaler, I guess. Um, it wasn't that crazy, but the, to get in the parking lot, it was so hard to find a parking lot for everywhere, even for Walmart. I went, I went to Walmart afterwards, and oh, the sun is so strong. It took me like more than thirty minutes to just find a parking spot. Okay, Wes, just a minute, please. Okay, so the, these are the charcoals. Let's put it, and then I'm going to use this. So, no, no, no. You cannot play with that. You cannot play with this. No. Okay, so I made a circle to fit into the jar, and then... So first, you're going to pour some pebbles or rocks, whatever you want. Does it have a taste? How come I can't open it? Pour some of these in here. My son both loves banana, but um, my younger one, especially, he loves banana. He had, that's your third banana today, right? Yes. Like way too much banana for you. So he's having his third banana. <laughs> so these pebbles help the, um, help from getting a root rot so that the root won't touch any um, remaining water that drains on the bottom. So you want to put 
good amount in there. Especially I want it to keep it in there for a long time. Okay, I think this is okay. And then put the mesh on top of it. It will keep um this will keep the soils from falling down. And then pour some of these charcoals. The charcoal will filter all the water that goes down to keep it clean, keep the water clean. Now some of, some of them falls down there, even though I have a mesh, but it's okay. This will be okay. And it's falling. It's okay. And then I could pour the. Oh, sorry. Get some soil. Let's lower it so you can see more. My delirium. Excuse me. Okay. So. There's matches and my soil. I don't want to put too much soil, but I don't want I don't want less either. So I'm gonna put like make it more like a more in the middle. I think this is good. Okay, like this. And then take the fern out and try to get all the. Oh, wow. Okay, let's put this aside. Here you go. So, this is the fern. It's really pretty, right? It really looks like fake. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, let's try to get all the soil off of it. So you guys all know that I'm from Japan. So why didn't I talk about Christmas in Japan? Um, yeah, Japanese celebrate Christmas, but not like here. It's not, it's really not a family thing. It's more like a couples thing I guess you go on a date you know have a romantic date and then you know, it's not like you spend time with your family thing like here but um, when you're little like when you're kids I think I remember well it's still like really popular because in Japan not many people not many family like owns a oven so turkey is not a popular thing because they're too huge and even they have those micro, you know, like microwave slash oven. It won't fit in there. So um, <laughs> I think when when your kids are smaller, or like when I was younger, Kentucky Fried Chicken is like the thing you will have for Christmas. <laughs> and Kentucky Fried Chicken will have like a bucket, like a set. Like a meal set and come with a Snoopy collectional plate or dish or bowl, I think. I don't remember. But um, you have to make, you know, reservation in advance. Otherwise, they'll be sold out by Christmas. Or you have to, you know, wait for a long time to get your chickens. <laughs> it's funny. Like, they did a really good marketing in Japan. Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> so it's still a thing. Like, it's a big thing. You eat. You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken for Christmas. Um, um, growing up, I guess you get presents. But, like, I think you only get one present. Not, like, a lot. You know, here you get a lot of presents, right? It's okay. He's not touching anything. So, I remember getting one, like, one present for Christmas. And then, yeah, like, after teenage... It's not a family thing, so if you have a boyfriend, you go out on a date, and then 
Yeah, if you don't, you just go for a party or something with your friend. But it's not a, you know, this holiday is not for like family like here. Don't you think? All right, yeah. Okay, I don't think I could take everything out, but I really uh -huh. should. Hi, see. Uh -huh. Hi, see. You go hide. You go hide, see. Okay, you go hide. Wes, Wes. Wes, don't bother daddy. Daddy's working. His mouth is bleeding. I know. His teeth, I don't know. I think he banged his Are you okay? lollipop. Yeah. His, he wasn't crying or anything. You're gonna go hide? Okay, you go hide. Okay. Okay. I think this is all I can do. It's just. Roots are so thin, I don't want to break too much, so this will do. Okay, I may have to take out some soil out now, because it's too much now. Okay, hold on. Let me put them back. I don't know. This jar might be a little too small. <laughs> Thought it would be perfect, but it could be a little bit too small. put some pebbles on top so I try to get all the soil in the middle Okay, so it's done. So there's pebbles in the bottom and soils in the middle and then I put pebbles on the top again. Hopefully, it seems a little small for this fern but um, it will do okay for now. I might have to prune it a little but um, I'm gonna see how it will, how this fern will do in here. So when you want to water, you just want to water it from the edge. Well, you can probably water it from the middle too, but I'm going to try to water it from the edge and then see how it is. I will make an update video. I guess I should make an update video for my closed tellurium too. Um, they're doing, yeah, I think it's doing okay. Um, at first, I think I planted something else, but now I have a Fetonia and heart shaped <clears throat> fern. And I also made a video about um, my heart shaped fern wasn't doing so well, but it's coming back again. So <laughs> I'll make an update video on that as well. So this is my 
Tellurium. That's pretty. Thanks for watching. See you.